All right, guys, we got a lot accomplished. I haven't been filming much. I've just been working away, and uh, sometimes I just forget to pick up the camera. I get excited about working, and I apologize, but give you guys a little update. That's what we got going on right now. We have got the step notch in the back, C notch there in the back. Um, we pulled off the rear end, you can see there, and uh, cleaned up where all the brackets went for the leaf springs. Clean those off. We've got the four link coming in, waiting on that. Uh, but she's getting pretty low already, you can see there. Pretty low, I think we can go lower. We're sitting on, look under here, you can see. Maybe you can't, let's go to the other side. Look up in here. Oh yeah, see we're sitting right there. Can you see that right there? So if we take that off, um, I think we'll be able to drop down a couple more inches. But we've got the whole front on here. We've got the front bag set up already installed. You can see the bag smashed up in there. Um, we've just got this orange line here. This is a little tester line so that we can pump it up and down. And she's looking good. She's setting low. Runs and drives pretty good. We've been driving her around town here and there. Just giving a little test drives. She's looking naked on the back. Looks awesome though. That sun is bright as heck, man. Let me shut this door. Let's see if we can get a better view of some of this stuff. Yeah. See, so that turned out pretty good. We uh, cut the exhaust off. It ran all the way back. We cut it and just welded on some little turnovers there so it shoots out the side. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're just waiting on that four link to come in. We're kind of at a standstill right now. We did the bags yesterday up front and uh, just waiting on that four link to come in so that we can get the rear end set back in place. We'll start bagging it up and get the drive shaft back on. And then we'll put the bed on. We're getting really close on this project, guys. So uh, let's find something to do and keep it going. All right, we got our bumper setting in place. She's looking good, looking good. Um, I wish that thing four link would come on in so we can get that wrapped up. We just been messing around the shop today, cleaning up. I found some old hubcaps I had. We put them up there, it looks really cool. Uh, got a little, little um, hood emblem under the bump sign there. Cleaned up the little hot rod car. Can't find nowhere to hang that thing. I wanted to hang it somewhere cool up around the top, but I don't know, I can't find a cool spot. Anyway, back to the truck, got the bumper on. Uh, that's about it, man. Nothing we can do until it comes in. Everything else is pretty much just waiting for it. So, let's go get some lunch. All right, guys, we're back out here this morning. We got this rear end. Um, I went ahead and cut off all the little perches and stuff right there. Shock perches and uh, the leaf spring perches, whatever. Got that stuff out of the way. Um, we're waiting on that four link to come in today. FedEx should be here any time. But uh, we went ahead and got that set in place. I'm about to drop her down and see how she see how she sets on this thing. I hope you guys can see with that dang with that sun and that fan's loud as heck. So sorry about that. All right, let's lower it down a little bit. All right, she's sitting low as heck in the back, guys. Look at that. Man, this thing sounds bright as heck. See how low she's sitting in the back? Looking good. We've got that axle tucked up in the C-notch there. Everything's fitting excellent. Looking good. That front's pumped up right now. We aired it back up this morning just to check for clearance and stuff like that. But, yeah, everything's looking good. Man, that tucks up in there real well. Well, all right, guys. We're going to keep on working at it.
All right, guys, we've got a mess going on. Four link setup came in. We got that all apart, trying to get it figured out. This is my first time doing that, so we're figuring it out. Um, got the rear end in here, everything's setting good. I actually had to build that right there because um, our drive shaft going through was going to hit that, and it looks like it's probably going to hit up in there too, so we're going to have to do something in there as well. But that turned out all right. Just had to build a little arch hump there. Turned out okay. Drive shaft will go right through perfectly now, see? Yep. All right. So everything I've seen is when you get these four link bars right here, um, you want to make sure they're the exact length. So I have got, let me pull this top one off so you can see. I put a couple long bolts that came with the kit through there. And uh, I just twisted them, this end right here, twist in and out. And just get them all the exact same length. And as long as they fit on that bolt, they're the same length. All right, so now we're going to take the two off. We're going to put it on that little piece right there and start getting stuff lined up and see where things are going to fall. So let's keep on working away and see if we can't get that installed. Here's the little bracket that sits on our axle. You can see right there where it's cut out to sit on the axle, and our bars go that way. So I'm just getting these set up now. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'm just take these off. Got those on. So put these little nuts on here. I'm not going to snug them down. I'm just going to hand put them on there so that these don't fall out. I don't want to snug those down yet because I'm probably not even doing this right. But if I find out I am doing it right, then, then we'll snug them down. So okay, we've got our kit here now. We're going to take it over to the, to the passenger side and set it in place. Right, we've got that four link on that wasn't too bad at all we got our there's a little bracket right there that holds it and then it goes back and there's a little bracket that um, welded to the axle there and that was pretty easy um, we went ahead and cut out there's a cross member here we cut it out because we got to do um, under and like behind the axle bag mounts here right there because there's not going to be enough room to do it on the axle 
to uh, this notch right here because there's such a small gap right here. That side would work, but this is a little bit tighter and the bag rubs. We don't want to do all that, so we're going to put the uh, the under the under the axle mount right here. Bag will sit right there, and then we'll probably make a little something for the upper mount, and then it should go up and down. It'll be working. We've got uh, you can see the drive shaft. We got the first half on. It's sticking out right there. We go, uh, we're going to Chattanooga in the morning. We've got to get the drive shaft cut down the back end right here. It's a little long. So we go to uh, Chattanooga Driveline. They do uh, they do our drive shaft stuff around this area. Put you know we got to put our pan hard bar still, and then I'm going to put a, a support bar through here, probably a round tube here, and there probably. Um, we'll put there's already this one here. Um, there's that brace up there. So there was one right here. Um, we'll probably put something back right there. I had to remove it because the drive shaft was hitting it. I actually built a hump. It is over right there. I had that right here, but I didn't like I didn't like it. Um, as far as on the bed, I'm gonna try to keep the bed pretty much normal. I'm just gonna cut out the center right here for our notch. And if I would have left that hump, it would have been up here somewhere, and I would have had to cut all that out. So we're gonna we're gonna try to do it under the bed, do some support beams under there. So we'll. Uh, We'll cut this little area out here and then that bed will just sit right down, sit right on it. But man, she's sitting low, looking good. See that there? Um, I think we can get down a couple more inches in the front. We're sitting on that little uh, eye up there. So we'll get it down probably about half the distance that it is now. So that'll drop it down a little bit more. She's coming along really good, looking great. We got the rest of the bag stuff right here, the tank and uh all of our solenoids and all that crap but yeah she's looking good sitting low we're pretty much done for today i've got everything cleaned up we've done about all we can do tomorrow like i said we're gonna go to chattanooga get that drive shaft chopped down uh when we get back we might probably we might put that back on but there's not much left we can do until uh these rear bag mounts coming in come in so we can get this all moving and stuff and then we'll put the bed on so that's going to do it for today we'll catch you guys tomorrow all right guys we got our drive shaft picked up we came down to chattanooga to chattanooga drive line it's about an hour and a half drive from our place but man they hooked it up got brand new u-joints on there shortened it a little bit now we need to get back to telehoma get this thing slapped on the truck and uh we'll be able to cruise that thing All right, guys, we got her loaded up. Let's get back to the house. All right, we made it back here to the shop. Got that drive shaft put in. It fit up perfect. Got the new U-joints on it. And it slid right on that shaft right there. We got a little bit of space in case it needs to slide in or out a little bit when we go up and down. Not sure that it will, but we got it just in case. She is looking good. All the four links on. I don't have the pan hard bar yet. We'll wait until uh, we're gonna do under the axle. The bag mounts are gonna be on the back right here, and I don't want it to interfere with that. So we're gonna put on the bags first, and then we'll get the then we'll get that pan hard bar there lined up. But it's looking good. Everything's looking good. Um, got the jack here because we can't let it down because we don't have no bags yet. It just drops and slams all the way down and then I can't roll the truck around. So we've got it up. That's almost about right height right there. Um, we're up to about 80 PSI on the front with the airbags and it's looking really good. Good clearance. Comes up really high. We could probably come up a little bit more in the back. Um, I've just, like again, I got, just got the jack sitting there right now holding it up. Um, well, all right. I guess that's going to do it for right now. We're waiting for some more parts to come in so we're going to be down for a couple days we're actually leaving tomorrow morning to go to the f100 super nationals in uh, pigeon forge we're going to take old lincoln truck right there drive it down it's about a it's probably about a four hour ride from my house to there 
So that'll be the longest trip we put on it yet. Well, actually we've done some cruising around town. We cruised around for like four or five hours, a couple weekends just cruising around. So I know she'll make it, it'll be good. So yeah, we're gonna start packing that thing up uh, tomorrow morning and we're gonna roll out and I might have a little bit of footage from that show. There's usually a lot of truck. Well, all right, that's it for now. morning we've got the uh, truck bed in here we're gonna get the plasma cutter hooked up so we're gonna cut out these uh, these fender humps right here and uh, center space in the middle so that seat notch fits in there so let's uh, let's get our plasma cutter over here and start cutting the son of a gun up This fender right here straight around the edges take out this fender we may remount it up i don't know probably not but uh you can see what this dimple is here we're going to run a straight line across that should give us enough room for the c notch to come through we'll take that out that should be pretty pretty good for this and then we'll get the guys in here to pick it up and set it on the set it on the frame there so let's uh, uh let's get it to cut out okay we got no ground We got the bed in place. Um, I forgot to dang set the camera on for that. Me and Ian and a couple of his buddies picked it up and just set it right on there. Wasn't too bad at all. But look at that. She's sitting in place. Everything went pretty good. Um, the factory bolt right there dropped right into place. Hold on. My camera's a little dusty. Maybe that'll help. 
But yeah, the factory bolts dropped right into place. Perfect clearance right here for the C-notch. Um, we may have to, I don't know, maybe cut out a little bit more here for the back when we do the bags there in the back. But everything's looking pretty good. It lined up really well. She's in place. We may have to notch a couple little bit more things out, but uh, that's about right height right there. It'll probably go up a little bit higher in the back, but not much higher than that. Well, okay, cool. It looks like, I don't like the way that looks, so we might kind of round this to make it look a little bit better on all four of them. Just round them off a little bit. And it looks like maybe when I bagged it down just a second ago testing it, um, our wheel is hitting this right here when it comes down. So we may actually take our plasma cutter and cut back and follow that line all the way across. That'll give us more clearance whenever we drop it down. All right, let's keep packing away at it. All right, we did a little more cutting. I had clearance for, shoot, it looks like that's almost touching. No, it's good. We made clearance. We went ahead and cut out that little pocket. See how it's got a little box with it. We cut that out, cleared it out a little bit more, rounded that a little. Um, just kind of cleaned up everything. Got the tailgate down. It's looking pretty good in my opinion. I think that looks pretty cool. It's all cleared out. We've got her all the way down. Right now, you see how low she is? Pretty darn low. Can't go any lower than that because you see our four link is uh, sitting on the ground right there. So that's as low as she's gonna go in the back. I believe once we put the back bumper on though, the way the brackets and stuff sit, that bumper's gonna sit on the ground. Um, she's leaning just a little in the front again because we gotta cut out those little eyes and that'll drop us down about two more inches. But all the bolt holes line right back up. The, uh, I don't know if you saw it at the beginning of the video, the bed looks a little crooked right there, but it's just because it's not bolted down. If you look, she's still, yeah. See, she's a little flimsy there. So once we get that bolted in, it's gonna look better, but dang, baby, she's looking good. Look at that. Nice. All right, so it's about lunchtime. I'm gonna go eat some, some burgers. And then we're going to figure out what we're going to do next. We're out here hanging out at Wayne's today. He's got all the goodies. The Del Camino there. Got the garage full of cars here. We're going to work on this Chevy today and do a little fuel pump. But he's got them packed in back there. See there. <laughs> That's why we're doing a fuel pump today. She's got a bad fuel pump on her. Oh yeah, that'll be good. I brought a flashlight too, so it should be all right. Look at this thing here, guys. All right, let's get to work. All right, we're back here with an update. We have got our bags mounted. We got the under axle mount right there. You can see it, the bags there. And then I just fabbed up this little bracket right here with these upper mounts so that way it will work. We've got the tester lines in there and she works just fine. Goes up and down like it's supposed to. We have, um, have nice clearance when everything comes up. So today, I think we're probably gonna get it on the lift raise it up, pull those bags off and paint everywhere where we've done welding and grinding and get it all looking good. Um, what else are we gonna do today? Shoot, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, we might uh, cut, we gotta cut the bed out just a little bit more to make clearance for this new, new stuff that I built in right here. And we gotta build a little arch for the drive shaft right there. So we may do that. We're waiting on uh, an extension cord to come in from Amazon for a plasma cutter. So the way we can reach over here with the 220 but yeah that's gonna be what we got going on today probably gonna paint that stuff up like I said and cut the bed try to get the bed mounted on and all right let's get to work all right we got our brackets set up for our pan hard bar you see we we got it right there on the top and right there the bar goes that way um, I got everything taken off right now I went ahead and pulled the bags back off because we need to paint those we're gonna paint up this axle and everywhere that uh, we had to grind down for some welds. 
So went to AutoZone, picked up some paint right there. That rust barrier stuff works pretty good. And uh, we're just gonna spray this crap out real quick. So I'm gonna set up the camera and you guys are gonna watch me spray paint. Okay, we got a nice coat on all that stuff. She's looking good and shiny now. Look at that. Looks very good and clean. So, now that I got the bags off, I can kind of show you guys what we're dealing with here. You can see the under axle bag mount right there. So we put that on both sides where it would look good. So this is if you guys are trying to want to bag yours and um, run into the same situation as I did where you can't do the bag over the axle there. So we did it under it. And then I just built, I had this bar laying around right here. It actually, I didn't have it laying around. It actually came with the four link set up and it's uh, got these right here for the shocks. So we still may be able to use that for a shock mounting point. Um, whenever I bought this lower kit right here, it came with these uppers and I just welded it right onto that bar, as you can see. And uh, we had to, so I just mashed the bag all the way down and all the way flat is where I set this bar on top of it. And that's where we welded it in place. That way, when she was all the way down, it would be right there. And then when it pumped up, you know, it would pump up. So I had to come up right here about an inch and three quarters. I put a little block up there to raise it up and everything's where it should be. There's our bags. So we're going to let that paint dry for a little while. And then we'll come back and slap those bags back in, slap the pan hard bar back in, and uh, and then we'll uh, shoot. We might fire this thing up and see if she'll drive outside and back in, just to see how everything moves around. So let's let that dry up for a little while, and we'll get we'll get it back installed. We've got everything painted black. We've got everything back in. You can see the bags are back in up in there. We've got our little tester line hooked up so we can raise it up and down. We've got our pan hard bar in now, and everything's looking really good. So I'm gonna hit it with some air, raise it up a little bit, make sure everything's clear and good. And we'll make sure everything's clear and good. All right, we've got the front up. It is up to about 70 PSI and the back is up to about 60 PSI. So you can see on the front, there's good clearance on that wheel up there. And uh, our drive shaft looks nice and straight. Our four link bars look nice and straight. Um, this pan hard bar, it's angled just a little bit, but whatever. Everything's looking pretty good. She's nice and bouncy. We're gonna get some shocks on this thing. But uh, let's see, our next process is, I don't even know. We're probably gonna drag that bed in and cut the back end off of it a little bit to make room for this stuff. We'll probably set it back in place, set it on, bolt it in, make sure everything's good, and we'll be done with the, the rear part there. All right, we've got the brakes fled, got everything back together, seems to be doing good. We're gonna pull this, uh, slide this bed out of the way, turn the truck around and back it in here, that way we can, uh, Use the lift to put the bed up and down on the cab. It'll be much more easier. Not on the cab, on the chassis. So let's uh, drag this bed out of the way and we'll back this truck up, spin it around, get it back in here. Okay, that's good enough for us to get the truck out. 
Alright guys, we got that thing wiggled and jiggled into place. Um, everything looks pretty good. We're going to set the camera up and probably lower it down. We're going to have to like finagle it a little bit left and right and in and out and whatever. Just get everything lined up right. But here we go. Let's go ahead and set it down. Alright, she is down and pretty much in place. You can see where I cut that back a little bit. There was still enough left to leave the uh, stock mounting bolts, so that's good. We've got it all the way down, looking pretty clean back here. See that? Alright, so we're going to um, unstrap all of our straps, get this wood and get this, get this lift out of the way. That way we can start lining things up, get all of our bolts in place, snug those down, and we're pretty much done with this bed. Everything lines up really good, looking real good. Let's get her bolted up. It's all good. we've got our little hump cut out for the drive shaft there I don't really like that it sticks up about three inches so I'm gonna take a piece of our old floor from right here so that it kind of matches and I'm just gonna build a little little hump to go right there to kind of fill that in see don't that look better yeah that's what we're gonna do we've got uh, got a little piece right here I've got a got it kind of marked out how I want it we're gonna set it over there cut it out and start bending it and finagling it and Hopefully we'll make that look a little bit better. So that's our project for now. Let's get to it. I'm going to try to bend it. It looks like four inches on the side. I've got a little mark. It's going to come four inches here, four inches there, and kind of bend it over. I'm going to try to have a slope to the front. So let's, uh, let's start bending on these marks and see if we can get this thing in the shape that we want it. Okay, we've got our box built. See how that turned out? Looks pretty decent. Just a little step up. We're about, um, came up probably about two and a half, three inches maybe in the back, come down to about an inch in the front just to give it enough room. It's not terrible. It's better than, uh, than that big oval gap that was there. Just kind of 
make it more solid in case we want to throw some junk in here we won't hit our drive shaft and it is what it is see there's the front turned out all right good enough All right, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, trying to get all the solenoids and everything hooked up with this bag set up. I don't think I showed this in the last video, so I'll try to go over it a little bit more this time. So we've got our tank. We've got our bags installed. We know that they work because we've used our temp set up there. Now, if you've never done this before, I just get um, I've got a little some 3 8 line, a reducer. Oh, we've got the mail lady. 3 8 reducer to a half and then so we stuck that in here and you know we got one for the other side it's got a little T with the valve there like you'd have on a bicycle or your car tire and just shoot air in there and it goes up and down hold on let me get this melt you put air in there and it will raise it up and then you release the air out and it goes down just so you can test all your stuff make sure clearances are good or whatever so anyway that's uh we've got our tank You've got all your ports. There's four on the back. There's one on each side for your compressor. Compressor here, compressor there. This one up top is for your pressure um, gauge that's going to run up front. I've got digital gauges, so I've got a different little setup here, but I'll show you guys. And uh, there's a plug on the bottom. Don't forget to put that one in. So what I'm going to do is I've got the two in the middle that's pointing down. They're going to go down. We're going to run a line under here. We're going to put our valve set up under here. It's going to come back out to the bag, just like that on both sides. These on the end are straight. They're going to come over. I'm going to stick it to the inside of the notch, run it down, and run it back, run it up to the front, and then we'll have our valve set up somewhere under the bed here. It'll shoot to the front wheels to pump that up. So... We've built the first valve set up here. There's many different ways that you can set these up, but that's how I'm going to run this one. So you've got a valve. There's little arrows on it too, showing you the way that the air will go. So we've got a T. Our, our air from the tank is going to come in here. And then this right here will stop it from shooting any further. Um, that right there will go to the bag. And then this is the dump valve. And then this one right here will go to your pressure sensor. So your air comes in. This holds it closed. When you hit the button on your switch, this is going to open and allow air to shoot out and go to the bag and raise it up. And then when this closes, it pinches the air off on both sides. And then when you dump it, this one right here will open and air will just shoot out. I've got these little uh, dampeners. That you put in here you don't have to have them but you can kind of control it so it goes up fast or goes down fast or slower and uh, so anyways that's how that goes again there's many different ways to set this thing up we might set it up different for the front just so it goes straight I don't know yet but this is how I'm gonna do the back and uh, we're gonna take all these fittings back off I just got them loose I'm going to take them back off, put some, don't forget to put some thread sealant on there. And don't over tighten these because they will crack. So just, uh, we'll take all these back off, put some thread sealant on there and snug them back on. Get this thing done and build another one just like that for the other side. Alright, I'm going to try my best to show you guys how we're going to do this. Alright, so we're going to go under here. See how we got the stuff set up. We're going to have the main line for coming from the tank for this bag right here. Coming from that one, so it's going to, we're going to have a hose going down. It's going to loop around under here. So let's go under and look. Alright, we're right under here. You can see the back of the bag set up under the frame. So we're going to take our valve set up. 
make sure you get the arrows going the right way. And we're gonna strap it, put it on top of the frame, in between the frame and the bed right there. It'll sit perfect. It'll sit perfect right there. We'll, we'll strap that down somehow. But we're gonna have an airline coming from the tank. And it's gonna come, it's gonna come through here and loop around and go into that fitting you can see right there. It's gonna go into this right here. And then it's gonna come out here. We have a hose come out here and loop around and go back up and go into that bag. We have one of those here and one of those over there on that side too. We'll set them right in that gap right there. We'll get them strapped down and that's how that one's gonna work. Now these lines, these uh, wires coming out the back, this is what you're gonna run to your controller. One goes to ground, the other one goes up to your controller. Um, it doesn't matter which one on these right here, either one can be ground. So I'll take this one and the one coming off of this one, join them together and just screw it to the ground under here, right there. And then I'll kind of label these with some tape and I'll get them together and I'll run them all the way up the frame right here into the cab to our controller. So let's get the other one over there set up. All right, we've got all of our valves put together, installed. We've got all of our, uh, our line installed, all the plumbing in. So I'll show you guys how we got this now. All right. Still got to clean up some stuff under here, but you see, there's uh, the one valve that we built. So we've got probably, this is our line coming in. See there, it loops around, goes into the valve, and then it comes back here and goes up and into the bag. Same thing on this side. All right, and then for the front, if you can look up and see the tank up there, yeah. Okay, this line here is coming runs down we're gonna strap it up there and make it look better later but it comes down we run it along the, the frame here and we come down and then we got the valve stuffed up in here Can you see it up in there we got it stuffed up in there so our airline comes in and then it goes out up to the front up to the front bag Let's see where's that line at right there right here it comes in comes into the top and can you see in there yeah goes in right there so we got it all plumbed in we've got all our solenoids we've got uh, okay again um, show you on these right here the wires coming out I told you um, one of them's a ground one's a power so let me go to the back because it's hard to see that so we take one ground from each one of those and I just twist them together and I grounded it right to the frame and then we'll take a power wire from one and a power wire from the other we'll run them up together but individually once we get up to the front and uh, that'll go to the switch box you see I did that to all of them I took the ground from one ground from the other twisted them together and put them in that did it to the frame again we got it up here same thing you can see right there where I put it to the frame so you should just have one wire from each one going up to the front now to your switch box so yeah everything looks pretty good under here all the plumbing's done um, we're gonna go to Lowe's tonight and get some wire and some other stuff and then uh, we'll get this wired up tomorrow um, yeah we'll get all that wired up tomorrow all right guys we got her back on the ground we've got everything set up kind of how it's gonna be I think we're gonna run it like this looks pretty cool you see we got the tank there compressors on each end we got the water filter there um, everything looks pretty good. Let's snip these lines a little bit. That one right there to make it look a little bit more uniform. But everything looks looks good. I think so. See there, everything runs and crosses. Looks nice and clean. I was gonna put that up at the up at the front of the bed right there, but I didn't want to take up space there and only have a little space here. So now I've got it all contained to right here. That way, if you want to throw some chairs and a canopy or something up there. You can and it won't be in your way even got a little space right here to throw some stuff but that's how she's gonna look um, we've got the wires right here there's two that come off this two that come off that I'm gonna run the grounds together and then um, run the grounds together and then I uh, split one off of it into the bottom of we got a pressure sensor right here 
okay I'll run it into that and then I'll run the top one off and I'll run it into the ground somewhere and then the powers I'll just run both of those together run them up to a toggle switch and then from that up to the battery and uh, that should be good but uh, that's probably gonna wrap it up for this video guys we've done a whole bunch of stuff on this one um, a lot of airbag stuff on this one um, showed you guys how to do the solenoids and all that crap so uh, in the next video we're gonna finish wiring up these solenoids um, wire up our switch I've got it setting inside right there we got to wire that up and hook up our wiring so that's what we're gonna do in the next video guys so stay tuned and we'll finish getting this thing bagged out if you like the video hit that subscribe button hit that like button thanks for watching